welcome to Trivia Night, an endless onslaught of devious torment. But like, let's also have some kooky fun along the way. Yay, trivia! I'm going to ask you a bunch of trivia questions. If you get a question wrong, you have to fight for your life in one of my super fun mini games. If you do badly in the mini game, I'll kill you. But don't worry, those can still win the game. When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round where the living and dead compete to see who can escape first. Oh, and hey, look, we've got an audience. Oh, and I guess I wasn't talking. Okay, rude much? All right, first question. Which of these letters does not begin one of George Carlin's seven words you can never say on television? <laughs> and the correct answer is... Who got it right? Mm, too easy. Here's another one. The year Jeopardy first went on the air. <laughs> and the correct answer is... This one. for your punishment. Welcome to the killing floor. I want to see your artistic side. Now, keep in mind, I don't know art, but I know it sends me into a homicidal rage. So, draw carefully. Something sexy. Draw this thing as best as you can and press send when you're finished. Everyone gets to vote. Pick the drawing that you hate the most. It's fun! You can do it! One of these was drawn by someone who deserves punishment. The votes are in. Is it any kind of consolation that you're not alone at the bottom? Yeah, probably not. <laughs> I'm still thinking about how bad your drawing was. This is where I keep track of all the scores. On this board. I call it a scoreboard. Please don't steal that name from me. Oh, and let's throw the audience a bone. Well, the audience is in it, but it could really go either way. Let's try another one. I hope you like my dungeon. I opted for an open floor concept. It flows better this way. Cubicle derives from a Latin word for what room? Who said this one? of you who are still alive, I have a surprise for you. Hey girl, welcome back to the killing floor. Let's test your memory. Memorize the pattern. And done. And don't get me started on how memorization is a lost art form ever since the introduction of smartphones. I could talk your ear off. From left to right, 
What was the order of the weapons? Last place will feel the pattern of my knife. This was the pattern. How much of it did you remember? It looks like you forgot what was at stake. Let's see how the scores look now. Let's try another one. Who was not on the 92 NBA Dream Team? Yeah. And the correct answer is... This. I have a surprise for you! Let's play the finger cutting game. I think you'll get the point soon enough. I regret that joke the second I said it. Just choose one of your fingers to cut off. Easy, right? All you have to do is endure blinding pain. Alright! See, that wasn't so bad, was it? I mean, you have to live with the consequences, but still. How about this? Oh man, I can picture him. He's the one who wears jeans and has long hair. Who is the bassist of the Ramones? said this one I want to show you something I hope you like feudal exercises sorry I guess the instructions were confusing spin it spin my lovely spin Wow, I did not see you surviving that one. Let's try this again. Where was the Battle of Waterloo? Who picked this? Let's play a game. Uh oh, this is a mess. I spilled blood all over my favorite piece of art. Uh. The new blood is probably getting all mixed up with the old blood. Memorize the pattern of blood. Alright, that's enough time. I gotta say, this is a really fun dynamic. I'm really enjoying our back and forth so far. We have a great chemistry. I mean, don't get me wrong, we're not as tight as the gals on The View, no way. <laughs> don't be crazy. But we do have a similar dynamic to the gals on the talk. I'm obviously the Sharon Osbourne of the group. <laughs> okay, moving on. Reproduce the pattern on your device by tapping on all the spaces that were red. Then press submit when you're done.
The person who is furthest from the pattern will die. Here's that arc again. Let's see if you messed it up. Look at it this way. At least you have proof now that you're the weakling. Jeez, audience, you're reminding me why I hate society. I've got more questions for you. What are the two cities in A Tale of Two Cities? And the correct answer is... This one? Only a ghost got it wrong. Hmm, too easy. Next question. Most waiters should know this one. Which one of these musicals was not composed by Stephen Sondheim? Picked this one. <laughs> Everyone is wrong. Come with me. Let's play a dice game. I'll go first. Thirteen. Now I need a little help from a safe player. How about you? In order to live, should they roll higher or lower? The choice is yours. And I thought I was cruel. Roll higher than me or you die. Very unlucky. This game has made me sweat. Glad I didn't wear a shirt today. All right, next question. Chris Kimball founded which cooking magazine? <laughs> Who said this? <laughs> Everyone is wrong. Prepare for your punishment. It's time for some wordplay. Use letters to spell the longest word you can before time runs out. I got some of these letters from Highlights Magazine. Don't be the person with the shortest word or you'll regret it. Do it now. The letters don't have to touch each other, and remember to press submit when you're done. Yeah. Ooh, let's see what you did there. Is that how you spell that? Mm, no. Here it comes! <laughs> oh good, we're just down to one. Well look who's still alive. Now you just have to escape with your body. I'm going to give you a category. 
South American countries. Tap on each answer that fits, then press Submit. Let's see the right answers! You move forward one space for every correct answer. You're getting real close to the exit! Oh, did I mention that all the other ghosts get to play too? If a ghost catches up to you, then they will steal your body. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. An easy one. Beware of the darkness. I believe schools.
Hi! The party's downstairs. Come on in. 